Libra math is me being the only sign that's represented by a machine, plus being a measuring device, equals somehow y'all not understanding that every move I make is calculated. Libra math is me flirting a little, plus you flirting a little, plus me flirting a little bit more, plus you being interested, equals me not being interested. Oops. Libra math is me constantly avoiding conflict, plus you constantly pushing me over the edge, equals now I'm the crazy one. Libra math is me wanting you to feel comfortable and special because you are and you deserve it. Plus me being really good at it, equals you asking me why I got so many baby mamas. I don't know. We're making it work though, ain't we? Libra math is the number one does not exist. Only the number two, which is why we have two of everything. Can you think of a Libra that does not have two cars, two poems, two names, two addresses, sometimes two lovers? No, you can't because it's Libra math. Libra math is you thinking kindness equals weakness until I show your ass or disappear. Libra math is I don't have anything good to say today equals I don't have anything to say. Libra math is I'm always in style or I'm doing it with style because why don't you want to look good? Libra math is the constant mental gymnastics of hearing how someone could be right, but also knowing where they're wrong. Libra math is you constantly asking me why we're not close to friends and me not saying anything because I don't know how to tell you you're boring, desperate, and ugly. My uncle hasn't been married since my aunt passed away 10 years ago. This morning, my uncle fainted and he had his head on something, so we all went to the hospital to check on him. And he was in bad condition, and given that I didn't know if I was ever going to see him again, I wanted to ask him why he never got remarried. And he said, come here, Artie, let me tell you why I never got remarried again. He said that my aunt was in her deathbed, and she looked at him, and she said, how long until after I pass away will you wait to get remarried? And then jokingly, my uncle was like, I will never bring another girl into my life until your grave is completely dry. And you know, eventually my aunt went away on vacation, and still my uncle went to her grave every single day. And this went on for 10 years, but the problem is every single time he went, he said the grave was still wet. But he said, yesterday I realized that I wouldn't be able to make it during my lunch break, so I decided to go early in the morning. And that's when he met his brother-in-law there with an empty bucket, and he looked at me, he said, what are you doing? That's when the brother-in-law was like, I'm here to fulfill my sister's only wish, to water her grave every morning. Ryan? Yeah? Do you ever think? Nope. Well, imagine if you did. Okay. I want to start a chicken food truck business that okay. only opens on Sundays and we park on Chick-fil-A parking lots. We call it Side Chick. I like it. Can I come up with the special names? Yeah, sure. Number one, poultry and adultery. I love it. Number two, thick thighs save lives. I got to write this down. Ooh, number three could be a hen Thai chicken. We are going to have a weird customer base. happy in a special sort of way. Sometimes I think I'm lucky to have a special brother because that makes me special too. How to lose 10 pounds in one week. Step in the band. Look left, look right, look left again, look right again, and keep looking left, keep looking right. If somebody was off you something to eat, just say no. When y'all eat tacos, do you tilt your head to the left or to the right? Neither. The thighs typically keep my head firmly in place. All right, so we all know HBO Max and Climax, Netflix and Chill, Hit It and Quit It, Hump and Dump, Disney Plus and Thrust, Hulu and Do You, all these phrases and pickup lines us young people use. But what about the old people? What about the elderly? I took it upon myself to write some down and uh, feel free to use them all. Take out my dentures and go on adventures, press my life alert and squirt, break a hip and dip, nursing home and bone, hearing aid and get laid, handicap sticker and liquor, pills and thrills, lose my glasses and some asses. Now, if you have grandparents, uh, parents, feel free to send this to them. Uh, please comment any more that you can come up with and follow me. I'm pretty funny. Where are my glasses? Oh, fuck. I'm trying to be an adventurous owner and take my dog out to Petco. This man is stealing treats from the bottom shelves. Someone has to tap me on my shoulder and tell me, hey, your dog's been taking treats from the bottom shelf." And then someone asks me, oh, did you just get him? No, I've had him for seven years. He, he's, he's seven years old. He's seven years old. And then as I was leaving, one of the clerks gave me a training card and was like, I'm sure he's a good boy at home, but I see he's been like really pulling you in here. This isn't him. This isn't him. At home, he's a lazy bum. I don't. I don't know who. I don't know who this was today. I don't know who this was today. Hey, how are you? I'm down there in the other spot. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a big house. 
I ain't know it was the right one, but this one right here said it flowers and some other stuff, so. Oh, yeah. I, it, no, this, it's actually a funeral home. Oh, this is a funeral home? Yeah, I live in the apartment upstairs. You said you live in there? Yeah, I live upstairs. My parents own the funeral home. Oh, okay. Oh, that's yeah. what's up. Okay. Yeah. So his body's in there, you say? Like. Yeah. Yeah, that's a funeral home. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, this way we're gonna chill at and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I ain't, I ain't trying. I ain't really tripping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you'll be fine. Yeah. No, I ain't worried about that. I mean, but if you want to go out to eat, we can go out to eat. It's up to you. Oh no, actually, I already cooked for you. Oh, okay. What you make? My specialty. What? Liver and onions. L liver, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. There you go. You tripping? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I want to be to walk in and come out now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, mean, I ain't tripping. You know, I'm from the hood. I ain't tripping all day. Yeah. But, uh... You ready to go in? It's kind of... I mean, I go... Hey, 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 okay. So, uh... I mean, lights work and all that stuff, right? Yeah. Everything works. <laughs> yeah, damn funeral. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> I was ready to run. No <laughs> but, um, uh, look. Let's go somewhere else, girl. You know what I mean? I ain't scared. It ain't about none of that. I'm just saying you don't want to go nowhere else? Well, let's at least just go inside real quick. I mean, all right, that's cool. I'm here with Runner. Hi, Runner. Hi. He's deaf. Y'all, <laughs> <laughs> it's your girl, the sun. I thought I'd do a live get ready with me for the solar eclipse. Is it hot in here or is it just me? <laughs> First things first, sunscreen. Because I'm so hot, I can't even burn myself. Be nervous for clouds tomorrow. Um, no. Like, if they need to cover my shine because they feel that bad about themselves, like, that's embarrassing for them. No hate to clouds or anything. <laughs> Heard you and the moon are fighting. Um, okay, I want to nip this in the butt. The moon and I aren't fighting, but I do think that she's, like, a little jealous of me. Like, honey, my future's so bright, people need shades to look at me. Don't people need shades to look at the moon tomorrow, though? I mean, no, because technically they're looking at me. I'm the thing that could, like, harm them, you know? Girl, don't play. You'll be living in the moon shadow tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not called a lunar eclipse tomorrow. It's called a solar eclipse. Solar. Me. Moon is coming out during my time, okay? I'm lucky enough to share the stage with her. The moon has to come out at night because she's so damn ugly. Not me. I come out during the daylight so people can take a look at this, mama. If people go outside to get sun, it's to be prettier and be like more tan. If someone goes out to get mooned, and then someone's showing them their ass. Ew. I cure seasonal depression, okay? The moon causes it. Let the moon have her little four minutes of fame tomorrow. I don't mind sharing the spotlight for a moment. I mean, I'm like Beyonce. Even Beyonce like Kelly and Michelle sing sometimes. <laughs> and cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man in the moon. Uh. When you're coming home, son, I don't know when. But we'll get together then, dad. Donkey! is a ghazal, the majestic, the wow, the jumping in the ocean like Jesus, astaghfirullah. Oh my God, this is alligator is coming behind you, ghazal. Swim fastly, swim quickly. Ya Allah, my blood pressure coming up. Oh, he coming to my boat, go away. Oh no, he's now going back after the ghazal. 
and I think he's gonna catch it him because alligator is a fish and Ghazal is not fish. Why you are in the water, stupid? This is very dangerous situation for the Ghazal. Ghazal, go quickly. You have children to look after. Wow, the Ghazal almost reaching. Oh my God, the alligator turn on the turbo. He going under the water. He gonna catch him. He gonna catch him. Yalla. He gonna catch him now. Kick him in the face. Kick him in the face. Yeah. Oh my God. Alligator is coming quickly. Oh my God. Yes. Yes.